everyone! This is Sherry from Tangerine Mountain, the largest kimono vendor in the United States and your kimono vendor that you see in Kentia Hall every year at Anime Expo. We've teamed up with Anime Expo Lite for 2020 to bring you amazing kimono and Japanese culture related content straight to your homes since we obviously can't be with you in person right now. But we love you and we miss you. This video is going to be an easy breezy how to wear yukata tutorial so that within 10 minutes time you can go from looking like this to this. Step one, actually put the yukata on your body. <laughs> it's gonna feel a little bit long, don't worry, we're going to adjust the height. What you wanna do is you want to pick up the yukata from the area that's the end of these collars here, okay? And you wanna bring this around to the front. You wanna kinda of center it up. Now, to make sure that you have the proper coverage for your yukata, you want to measure out where your left front panel is going to go. So for me, since I have a little bit of hip on me, I want this panel to come over just a little bit more. So rather than having this centered, I'm just going to slightly pull the left panel out more and make sure that it covers up to the part of my leg where I want it to cover. From there, we go to step two, using the hemo. The hemo is just a simple sash that's going to help you keep your yukata closed while you're getting yourself dressed. So what you're going to do is you're gonna wrap this around your body at least once. If you can do twice, go for it. If you can't, no problem. Once you're done wrapping it around your waist, you wanna take the two ends and wrap them around each other, kinda of like a pinwheel, like so. From there, we're going to take the ends of the hemo and we're going to tuck them into the part of the hemo that's wrapped around the body. Make sure that you don't accidentally tuck more of your yukata into there. There's a little bit of blousing that you're gonna to have to deal with, but that's okay. We're gonna make that look a little less messy in just a minute. So once you have that wrapped around, the front bottom is closed, yay! But the top looks a little bit of a mess. That leads us to step three, making this all look a little bit neater. First and foremost, for your blousing, this is called ohashori in Japanese. If your blousing or your ohashori is kind of tucked up, do what you need to, to kind of get it all unstuck. You wanna make sure just like the bottom of your yukata that your right side goes down first with your left side coming over. And once your ohashuri is starting to lay nice and flat, grab the back middle seam of the yukata and gently pull down so that you have a slight drape to the back of your neck. If you need to adjust the crisscross in the front, go ahead and do so. From here, take a second hemo and tie it around your waist, similar to how you did it the first time. This one is a little bit longer on me, so this one I can do twice. Just like before, take the two ends, pinwheel them around each other, and then tuck the ends into the part of the hemo that's snugly around your waist. This is going to help keep your yukata looking nice and flat while you get your obi on. Step four, grab your obi. One of the types of obi that you can wear with yukata is called a hanhaba obi. Hanhaba literally means half width, so it's half the width of what its more formal counterparts would be. What you wanna do is take the obi and measure it out for a length that's about the length of your forearm to your elbow. You're gonna place that section over your shoulder, doesn't matter whether it's left or right. And from there, you want to take your obi and gently wrap it around your body. And once you bring it back to the front, you want to even it out. So you're going to look like you have this tail sticking out straight while you have this section wrap around the middle. You're going to do that twice. On the second time around, Grab the inner layer of obi in the front and gently pull on the obi section that you're holding to your right. That's gonna help tighten the obi around your waist to help keep everything in place. Bring that section around to the front and gently make some pleats in the fabric here. Now, you're going to take the end that was over your shoulder 
you're going to bring this around and under that top part of the obi that you brought around your waist. Now, we're going to leave that end alone. This end is in timeout. From there, we're gonna puff up the second section of obi, and we wanna fold it over onto itself, like so. It's going to make a little rectangle. And then, like magic, we are going to put some pleats into this rectangle, and you can see it make the ears of a bow. But how do we get this bow to stay? Well, what we do is we bring this end out of timeout. You want to fold it in half like a hot dog. We're from Chicago, we like hot dogs. And you want to bring this end over the pleats and under the knot that you tied right here. The most common mistake that beginning kimono and yukata wearers make is that they try to put this end underneath all of the obi. You don't want to do that. You just want it to go under the knot that you tied. So we're going to take that, slide it under, and pull it up. Nice and snug. You can see the ears of a bow pull. Now for this extra bit, if you have enough to wrap it around twice, go for it. If you don't, don't worry. What you wanna do from there is take your remaining end, pop it open, and tuck it down between the very first layer of obi that you wrapped around the body and your body. And from there, you floof the bow. So nice and pretty. Now for your last step, you don't necessarily wanna walk around with the bow in the front. It'll kinda of get in the way of you doing things. So what you wanna do is grab the knot of the bow and grab a section of the back of the obi and you wanna turn it going in the direction of your collar. So that means we're gonna twist it this way. You don't wanna twist it the other way because then you risk pulling your yukata open and undoing all of the hard work you just did. So grab the center of the bow in the back and twist it until you can feel your bow centered at your back. And voila, now you're wearing a yukata. Thanks so much for watching our How to Wear Yukata video. We're so grateful to bring you this content in conjunction with Anime Expo Lite, and we hope you check out our other videos that we're doing for the show as well. If you want to find us online for more information or to snag some awesome outfits for yourself, check us out at www.tangerinemountain.com or on the socials, Tangerine Mountain on Facebook and at Tangerine Kimono on Instagram. Thanks so much and see you in 2021.